back again on the beach of Fort Lauderdale. Um, just to give you guys a little setup of uh, what my rig looks like, just a real quick setup, and then I'm gonna give you a full in full detail on everything that I use on another video. But this is what we're looking at right here, guys. My kayak. Fish finder, all my rods where I put all my catch. It's a, it's a full pedal kayak, so you pedal. I don't have the pedals in it right now, but that's what I do. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful day in Port Lauderdale. It is a little rough, but we'll make it work. All right, stay tuned. Fish Driven TV, let's go. All right, guys, welcome to Fish Driven. We're here out uh, before Lauderdale again. It's super choppy today, but I'm out here trying to give, bring some content to my viewers. Um, we're gonna go ahead and troll a little bit and then see if this wind calms down or this, this ocean calms down a little bit, then we'll anchor up and start bottom fishing. But right now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, troll for a little bit because these waves are a little bit big it might not look really big on camera but they're about twos or threes so we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do we're gonna do a little trolling just because to anchor up right now i'm gonna get beat up a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and troll a little bit so stay tuned guys if anything comes on i'll let you guys know all right Ooh, it's 40 out here Nice fish. Let's see what we got. First fish. Oh. Nice grouper. Grouper, grouper. Too small though, as always. Out of here. Yeah, it's getting really, really sporty right now. So. Forecast didn't really call for it, but my advice. Don't ever really listen to the forecast. But uh, we caught that group on the troll. So, trolling a little, little X wrap bait here. But man, I thought it was gonna be a nice day. It's all right. This is what fish driven is about. If you love it, you have the drive for it. So, we're gonna get beat up today a little bit, but we'll catch some fish. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. All right, buddy, all right. I'm letting you go, relax. Come on, man, you're wetting me up. Jeez. Stop eating my stuff. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Guy okay. splashed up a lot of water on me. But I know people love to eat those, but I don't mess with them. They're poisonous if you don't do it correctly. So I stay away from it. You know, that kind of high risk, high reward kind of situation. I am okay. Another fish on, but this feels weird. It's not even fighting. Oh, come on. And then I caught his other family member. This is crazy. Look at this puffer here. One puffer to another puffer.
The puffers are out, y'all. But yeah. So, get another cast on the shrimp. And go for another drift. But I won't bore you with that. Probably the next time you see me, I might be anchoring up. We'll see what happens. And then the wind picks up again. <laughs> oh, whoa. We got a nice one here, guys. Nice one. We got a screamer. Come on. Woo. Woo! Nice porgy. Oh yeah. Let's go. Porgy time. Oh yeah. Big mama. Got a net ready for him. In the net. Let's go. Let's do this. Sweet. Nice porgy. The net. Hooks out. Let's get him on the grip. We'll come back to this in a sec. But look at that, y'all. Nice porgy. <laughs> nice porgy. All right. Get him in the bucket real quick. In the bag. In the fish bag. Big weight. Big waves. Get the rest of these grunts in there. Big waves are coming. Big waves are coming. Poggy, runs her in the bag. Looking good. Now I just need to get my hook out of my uh, out of my net. We'll anchor up and do this. I mean, anchor up. We'll drift again. Let's see if we can get another one. Turn right into a school of lane snappers, and we're getting them. Some nice lanes too. school of lane snappers I'll take those that lanes are my favorite snapper out of the family the snapper family it's next to a mangrove and a mutton but yellowtail is in the back but yeah lane my favorite by far they're aggressive and they taste amazing in my in my opinion They're around. Let's see if we can throw a big sardine down there and catch a mama size lane. Let's see what happens. The bait is kind of getting a little bit soft too. Kind of tore it out. So. Let's see if we can that one. Yeah. Come on. What we got here? Thank you. 
school of them right now. Lane snapples always school up for the most part. But man, I hope I didn't get off of them too quick. There might be one right there. Yeah, it's a small one. We'll, we'll let him go. Gotta be eight inches to keep, but it's a small one, so. Gotta get back over there on them. The wind is pushing me. back on them. Man, it's current, no joke. I mean, it's wind. Oh, that was a nice one. Let's go. Oh, man, if I was anchored up right now, it would have been fair game. Anchored right up on top of them, catching them like crazy. Got to limit out on my lane snappers. They're so aggressive. Another pocket size one. They gotta be eight inches to keep, but I need like 10 and up. I'm not keeping the smaller ones. See, that's the thing, I gotta keep on top of them. So some of them miss out. Oh, ho, ho. That was a nice one. That was a nice keeper. You can tell sometimes from the bite how hard they hit it. Trying to keep on top of them. They're all right here right now. Looking at the fish finder. It's a nice school of them right here. Drift off too far. This might be a nice one here to keep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one right there. It's a nice 10 incher. fish to handle. I hate handling Yellow tail, y'all. Nice yellow tail. Let's get a measure on him. See if he makes the cut. He is 13 inches. No! 
two. Oh, these fish, I tell you, man. Three. Ah, I got stuck. That's fine, that's a part of it. Four. snapper, couple grunts, and then Mr. Big Poggy over there. So you got any lane snappers here, and then you got any grunts there. Not too bad for a very rough day on the water. Alright, thank you for watching Fish Driven.